friends, it's me again, Sophia J. And welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Today, I'm going to review customary units, how to convert units of capacity, and then we're going to create a game to help us memorize the equivalencies. So, what are customary units? Customary units are what the United States uses to measure time, weight, length, and capacity. Right now, on screen, you're seeing a reference sheet for the customary units that you may see in your textbooks and standardized tests. In this video, we're going to be focusing on converting the customary units of capacity. We're going to convert one pint into ounces. As you can see right here, we have the capacity measurements. One pint is two cups. And we also know that one cup is eight ounces. So, one pint is equal to two cups. So to find the pints into ounces, it's like one cup plus one cup. And each cup is equal to eight ounces. So it's eight ounces plus eight ounces, which is 16 ounces. Meaning that one pint is equal to 16 ounces. Now, we're going to convert quarts to cups and quarts to ounces. I'm going to start by converting one quart into cups. What we know is that one quart is equal to two pints. We also know that one pint is equivalent to two cups. So, we're going to need to do two cups plus two cups because one of the pints is equal to two cups. The other pint is also equal to two cups. So one pint plus one pint, which is equivalent to two cups plus two cups, which is in total four cups meaning that one quart is equivalent to four cups. But now we gotta do ounces. Since we know that one cup is eight ounces and that one quart is four cups, we're gonna have to do one cup plus one cup plus one cup plus one cup, or eight ounces plus eight ounces plus eight ounces plus eight ounces. If you add them all up, it is 32 ounces, meaning that one quart is equivalent to 32 ounces. Now, we're going to be converting gallons to pints, gallons to cups, and gallons to ounces. I'm going to start by converting one gallon into pints. What we know is that one gallon is equal to four quarts. We know that one quart is equal to two pints. Meaning that we're going to have to do one quart plus another quart plus another quart, plus another quart, or two pints, plus two pints, plus two pints, plus two pints, to figure out how many pints are in a gallon, since there's four quarts in a gallon. So two plus two plus two plus two, or two times four is eight pints, meaning that there's eight pints in one gallon. Now that we know how many pints are in a gallon, it'll make it easier to figure out how many cups are in a gallon. 
because we'll just have to figure out how many cups are in eight pints. Since we know that one pint is equal to two cups, we would have to do one pint times eight or two cups times eight, which is 16 cups, meaning that there are 16 cups in one gallon. Finally, how many ounces are in a gallon? We know that there are 16 cups in one gallon. And we also know that one cup is equal to eight ounces, meaning that we're gonna have to do 16 times eight, 16 cups times eight ounces. Eight times six is 48. Put the eight and carry the four. Eight times one is eight, and then plus four is 12, meaning that there are 120 ounces in one gallon. So in all, we learned that one cup equals eight ounces, one pint equals two cups, one pint equals 16 ounces, one quart equals two pints, one quart equals four cups, one quart equals 32 ounces, one gallon equals four quarts, one gallon equals eight pints, one gallon equals 16 cups, and finally, one gallon equals 128 ounces. Let's make a game, mathematicians. We're gonna make our own memory game to help us memorize the capacity equivalencies. To make this game, all you're gonna need is 20 index cards and a writing utensil. Here's how you make your game. For each equivalent pair, you're gonna need two index cards. For example, if I wanna fill out for one cup equals eight ounces, on one card, I'm going to write one cup. On another card, I'm going to write eight ounces. I'm going to continue this for every single equivalent pair. So for one pint equals two cups, on one card, I'm going to write one pint. And on another, I'm going to write two cups. I'm going to continue doing this until all 20 cards are used. To play the game memory, you have to find two cards that are exactly the same. If not, you have to put them back down. In this case, you have to find two cards that are equivalent. For example, let's say I choose these two cards. Eight ounces and one quart. Hmm, I know that one cup equals eight ounces, not one quart, meaning that I have to put these two cards back down and flipped under. But here's a challenge. Now I gotta remember that this is eight ounces and this is a quart. Hmm, let's do this card. Oh, it's one quart again. I can't match one quart to one quart. So let's pick this card, four cups. Wait, one cup, four cups is equal to one quart, meaning that I take away these two cards because they're a match. Hmm, let's go one more round. 128 ounces. I know that that's a gallon. Hmm, maybe this card's a gallon? Oh, look at that, it is. 128 ounces and a gallon match. They're equivalent, so I'll take them off the board. So, what did we learn today, mathematicians? We learned that customary units are the units of measurement in the USA to measure height, weight, length, and capacity. To convert one unit to the other, look at the relationship between units, and then add or multiply. And finally, you can create your own version of the memory game to help you memorize the equivalencies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!